Hi there, my brothers and sisters in Yeshua. All the glory and honor goes to our Father. Praise and honor goes to the Father. Giving our glory and honor to Yeshua, our coming King, our Messiah, the Holy One of Israel. Thanking the Holy Spirit always for revealing truth, especially in these last days. My brothers and sisters in Yeshua, this is going to be an important video. You take heed, you accept, or you don't accept. I'm only commanded to put out the truth, and that is it. God says, blessed are the mortars who refuse to worship the beast. That's what the Father says. He says, you are blessed. For the Father to say that you're blessed, you are truly blessed, and no man on earth can take that away from you. The Father says, you are blessed. Blessed are the mortars who refuse the mark of the beast. He this in the book of Revelation, um, chapter 14. We're going to start off in verse 9. It says, The third angel followed them, shouting, Anyone who worships the beast in his image, I'm sorry, anyone who worships the beast in his statue, or who accepts his mark on the forehead or on the hand, must drink the wine of God's anger. It has been poured full strength in God's cup of wrath, and they will be tormented with fire and burning sulfur in the presence of the holy angels and the Lamb. The smoke of their torment will rise forever and ever, and they will have no relief day or night, for they have worshipped the beast and his statue and have accepted the mark of his name. And then it continues. This is what you must listen to, my brothers and sisters in Yeshua. In verse 12 it says, This means that God's holy people must endure persecution patiently, obeying his commands and maintaining their faith in Yeshua. And then John said in verse 13, And I heard a voice from heaven saying, Write this down. Blessed are those who die in the Lord from now on. Yes, says the Spirit. They are blessed indeed, for they will rest from their hard work, for their good deeds follow them. My brothers and sisters, in Jesus Christ, do not allow anyone to take away your crown. Do not allow anyone to deceive you. You must accept the words of the Lord. Each and every one of us are destined for something. Either we'll be destined to be killed, mortared, jailed, or even still be alive when Yeshua comes. You don't know what your destiny is, but you must accept it when it comes. For those who accept the words of the Lord, He Himself, God Himself, will give you peace and power to lay your life down for His name's sake. Many of us have not even thought and said to ourselves, I may be a mortar. I may not see the second coming of Yeshua. I may be the one when he comes at the seventh trumpet and causes the dead to rise. I may be one of them. Did you really sit down and think about that? Don't be afraid if you face martyrdom. I say this to myself. I preach this to myself. 
For we must understand, we must hold on to the promises of Yeshua. He said, I am with you always, even to the ends of the earth. So if he is with me upon martyrdom, they can kill me. If he is with me when I go to jail, I'm okay. If he is with me as I go through the temptations and the uh, struggles of abiding in him and remaining in him in all truths and biblical doctrine and holding fast in his words and not leaning upon the deception of the world, even though the deception of the world will rise up as a flood, I will say to myself, and the Holy Spirit will always remind me, because Yeshua promised he cannot tell a lie. He said, I am with you. I am with you. Why would I be afraid if he says he's with me? He says, even until the ends of the earth. For the saints we know in the book of Revelation will be worn down. The saints will be worn down. They will kill the saints. Those who hold on to truth, they call you theologians. They call you theologians. Those who hold on to biblical truth and have received the Holy Spirit, they say you are a theologian. Basically saying you're evil. Why must I be evil? Because I heed the words of my Father, Yeshua. And the Holy Spirit also testifies that things that I read, the book, the uh, Holy Scripture that I read is indeed true. Did not Yeshua use Scripture to defeat the the serpent in the wilderness? Did he not? Well, Yeshua told me to follow after him. We must follow after him. Scriptures is is indeed true, for it is Yeshua who says, or it is Yeshua who had defeated the serpent with the Holy Spirit and also with biblical truth, biblical sound doctrine. God will give you peace. God will give you power if you accept your destiny, no matter what it is. It is said in the book of Revelation, they did not love their lives to death. But they laid it down for Yeshua's name's sake. These are the ones that have understanding that God has helped them mentally, spiritually. These are the ones that have not been deceived by the false prophets, the false teachers, the false followers, the false pastors, the false messiahs. It is the Father, it is the Son, it is the Holy Spirit which gives us strength. To lay our lives down, no matter what the occasion is. Whether we are mortared, whether we are sent to jail, whether we are silenced, whether we are looked down upon, whether we are servants and slaves to the evil, whatever it is, God has given us understanding. He has given us strength to push forward. And not to give up. To push forward and not to give up. As Yeshua says, I'm with you. I'm going through it with you. Yeshua says he has overcome the world. He said, fear not. I have overcome the world. So for us to fear not that he has overcome the world, he said, I will get you through what I went through. Follow me. Keep your mind on me. We can do this. We will do this together. These people, they understood. Those who are mortared, they understood. They understood that if they were to be killed for not accepting the mark of the beast, that this was their final test to enter the kingdom of heaven. They understood God gave them understanding that you must pass this final test and then you will be with me. For anyone could profess themselves as Christian, but at that moment their faith was tested to see if they was real and to see if they would pass. Like I said, many will be tested, but will turn away denouncing Yeshua having failed because they were deceived. 
saying that, oh, Christ would rapture you up in a minute. Any test that is thrown at you, my brothers and sisters, you must pass it. Christ said, anyone that wants to come after me, you must first deny yourself. No more you. You can no more make rules for yourself and say, I want to do this and I want to do that. Christ said, you must deny yourself. It's no longer about you when you follow after Yeshua. It's not about your will when you follow after God. Christ said, anyone who wants to come after me, this is the first thing you must do. You must denounce yourself. If you refuse to denounce yourself, cancel him out. He says, sit down and count the cost of following me. That's why he said, many can't, not a lot of people can be my followers. Not a lot of people can be my disciples. You know why? Because they cannot count the cost. People still want to live according to their own will. Christ said, the first thing you must do in order to follow after me, you have to deny yourself. This isn't an option. This is a must. Then he continues, you must take up your cross. This taking up your cross that if you are cornered and and you are to be killed for his name's sake, you must be killed for his name's sake. For he said, anyone who 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 refuses or cannot take up his cross is not worthy of me. This is what Yeshua says. This comes out of the mouth of the Messiah, the King. He says, if anyone cannot take up their cross, that means to be killed for his name's sake in the kingdom and for truth, Yeshua said, you're not worthy. You're not worth it to be my follower. Then he continues, follow after. You must follow after me. You must mirror me. You must be a mirror reflection of me. The way I think, the way I speak, the way I see things, the way I forgive, the way I show mercy. The hate in my heart for the sinful things of this world. You must mirror me. I must be your idol. You must look up to me. This is what Yeshua says. For my brothers and sisters in Yeshua, whatever you're destined to, you can cry out to the whole world saying you're a Christian. But your faith will be tested to see if this is truly true or to see if you're a liar. And the whole world will see this foolishness if you are a liar. Many will be tested. But only few will pass. Because they were deceived. I'm going to link a video, my brothers and sisters in Yeshua, and I want you to look at this video. And put yourself in the shoes of this man and this woman. I don't even want to go into details. But when I looked at this video, it struck me. By you who profess yourselves as Christians. And say that, yes, I would die for Christ. Look at this video that I'm going to place a link on. If you look below Click on that link or copy and paste that link uh, onto YouTube and watch the whole video. And by the end of the video, I want you to ask yourself, would I go through with that? He doesn't understand that, my brothers and sisters. Christians are already per being persecuted. They've been persecuted for the longest. But it will spread. It will intensify. Right now, I'm in South, uh, South of North Korea. It's in the Middle East. It will spread. It is due to spread. God will give uh, Satan all controls of the whole nations to rule and to reign. Satan has his time to rule and to reign. And for him to rule and to reign, you think he wants the true body of Christ to be alive? Because we rebuke him? Because we stand against him? No. He's going to order for everyone in the whole world to be killed. But this won't happen. Because we already know that Yeshua's second coming, he will send forth his angels to gather his elect. The ones who have been gathered or who will be gathered, they have fleed. They have fleed. They have not been taken out of the world, which is a deceived doctrine. But they have fleed to and fro 
For Yeshua speaks about in the uh, New Testament. He said, you will not have reached all lands. He said, when you're persecuted in one area, flee to the next. And then when you're persecuted in that area, flee to the next. He said, you will not have reached all the nations. And he speaks of Israel. He said, you will have not reached all the nations of Israel as far as fleeing because of persecution. He said, you will not have reached all of them before my second coming. My brothers and sisters in Yeshua, you have a destiny on your head that the Father has granted in order for you to access the kingdom of heaven. But many of you are locked into deception, saying that you will be raptured up with no harm intended. No harm will come upon you. I'm sorry, but this is a great deception. God points it out in the book of Revelation. He said, blessed. Because this, these blessed have understanding. These blessed have accepted that they may be killed and tortured for the name of Christ. He said, blessed are the mortars who refuse to worship the beast. At the moment of testing, will you pass or will you, be, will you denounce Christ? I'm going to also put out an article, my brothers and sisters, that you can also read. There was a Christian Muslim that before his death, he was told to renounce Christ. They told him, they said, renounce Christ. First of all, they asked him, what was he? He said he's a Christian. They said, if you renounce Jesus Christ, we will spare your life. If you don't, we will kill you. He renounced Christ, and they still killed him. My brothers and sisters in Yeshua, you must meditate. You must get your heart ready on what you would do. This man died right after he had renounced Yeshua as the Messiah. Christ said it again. Anyone who wants to come after me, you must deny yourself. Take up your cross and follow after me. He says, anyone who cannot take up his cross, you are not worthy of me. So for Yeshua to say that, what was the faith of this young man who denounced Yeshua to keep his life? He said, those who keep your lives, you will lose it. Those who lose your life for my name's sake, you will keep it. He that, my brothers and sisters in Yeshua, the time is approaching. Do not be easily shaken. Do not be deceived, but hold on to sound doctrine in a strong and true relationship with the Father, the Son, and receive the Holy Spirit, repenting of all of your sins. Take care.